This is part of the coastal path. They call this the rough route, especially if when you're coming up it, right? There's a rough route people do, which is... I'm going to leave that for another time, because I need to be really, really charged up to do that one at the start of a visit, not after I've done loads of other walking. So I'm leaving that for now, but I've decided to... So there we go, we go back to Porlock. It says two and a half miles, might be, might not be. <laughs> I've just done that little pathway over there. And I'm going to video as much as I can, going down this steep, bumpy, loose stoned track. I actually think it's much worse in the winter. And of course, in the with snow, ice, heavy rain, that sort of thing. But even when something's very dry, it can be dangerous. Because you get those loose stones that can make your feet turn into roller skates. This will, I'm not going to video all me going down, just doing a bit of it. Because I've got to be careful at my age, if you break a hip, you've had it. <sighs> Though with all the vitamin D I've taken and whatever, sunshine I've had, bone should be okay. But it does happen, or you break your ankle. <sighs> and then who's going to drive me van then? <sighs> I'm surprised there's not many people out. It's only a Wednesday, it must be football on or something. Yeah, very loose stoned area this is. But you can, there's nothing to say you can't walk along there. Um, I won't, I'm not going to do it now. I don't, I've, I've done enough for today actually. I'm just going to gently make my way down here. No, I was just talking about campers. Some of the wild campers don't really like um, campsites because a lot of the time they're either over-friendly and in your face or they're very unfriendly. And uh, people on their own are always held with a bit of suspicion for some strange reason. Why are you on your own? Oh, a woman on her own. Oh, aren't you brave without a man? You know, I'll get all that. And I met a woman yesterday when she was washing up on the campsite. She's alone. She's probably about 70 something or other. She, she's on her own now, so, but she camps in a tent. And uh, she said she's still going to get about. She's not going to let anyone say she can't. She keeps a journal and she, she's she got um, a Kindle type thing and she's got a radio. And um, she said, yeah, she says she gets it all the time. It does get on her nerves and people are saying, oh, on your own. And, you know, sort of... <sighs> I mean, I, what I find, Sandy, is videoing because I am a talker as you can probably tell. Some people will probably think, wish you'd shut up, Sheila, and just do the videoing. But there are people that like my videos. So I'm actually doing it for them. If you don't like them, don't listen. Or turn the volume down. And if it's bumpy, I'm sorry, I'm going down a very steep track. I'm trying to be careful. I'll be turning it off in a minute for... Just do a little bit more. Just do a little bit more. Yeah, it's peaceful here. I've seen some people struggling getting up here. In fact, the two people I saw struggling getting up here yesterday, I, I seen them today as well. They were out early. And they just made sure I was okay on my route this morning when I was heading for Alaford, I think it's called. And uh, I recognise them, yeah. I wonder if that woman with that big rucksack is going to attempt to come down here. She's probably heading for a campsite. You can do that round the Beacon one. It still takes you down to Bosington. Right, over and out, folks.